What's good, everybody? This your girl, Miss Place, here, and I'm back with another video. I'm gonna try to give you two videos. This one just an update, advice, and some little bit of achievements that I accomplished in this one. And then the next video is gonna be my first official video, and I did stumble there. My first official video of topic of discussion. So check that one out as well, cause I appreciate it. And if you've been waiting on it, then hey, I'm gonna do it, and I'm, I'm not gonna keep. <laughs> <laughs> procrastinating on it so let's get started with this video past event i went to was dreamhack dallas and i tried to do a video on it but it just wasn't going right for me so i i just kind of scrapped it but to sum up it dreamhack is actually that i mean like any other thing they have esports going on competing in that depending on location they also have depending on location they have card games it really depends card games and then they have a whole lot of indie games and whatever's in your current area that signed up for it that's what they have so when it comes to that my big advice is to go now if you're a content creator my advice that was given to me that I wish had I known I would have did was sign up I didn't sign up as a content creator this time because i thought that they were just sending out special invites for only certain people and not knowing that you had to sign up first and then get like a yes or no or invitation how how it goes however they pick i didn't know that now that i know that and i'm letting you all know that sign up the reason why i'm letting y'all know that is because i'm gonna try to sign up next year we're going to see how it goes as long as I can financially afford it. And also, I plan for it. That's that's really it is. I'm, I'm hoping that I can do it. One, because I, I wish I had set up some days out for this because I enjoyed it. Like, I really enjoyed it for my one day I was there. I really, every time I go to some type of event that has featuring some type of gaming or something, it's it's either not as fun as I've hoped or it's eh, it's not all that. So it's like you, you will hardly see me comment or anything on it. But this one, man, even though like I think for me personally, I have my own my new hiccup. But overall, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because of the indie games that were there. The, the things that I didn't know that was in my local area that was there, <laughs> like, and the information that was passed on to me to from some of the other Twitter people that I know that were passed on to me, that was very helpful. So that's why I really enjoyed it. And also the gaming aspect of it. Like, I didn't have enough time to game everything. And there were some awesome, beautiful indie games, like, like one um you would have thought it was a triple A game and it was only an indie game. Like how beautiful the scenery was. I I don't exactly remember the game because it's been like over a, like a month. But there were so many games and some games I didn't even realize that I was like, oh man, my game palette is small. <laughs> so there are actually some fun games out there. Is I just tell people you gotta open up your gaming palette. But there was something for everybody like this is one of the few times I've say it's, it was something for everybody and me in events I know I normally get bored within an hour so that tells you something <laughs> and I really enjoyed it and for some of y'all that was like I don't want to go by myself or that's not my group or they don't speak for me or whatever other thing that I've heard so far make it your group plan with someone that you're you're close to either in the community or hanging out with you and y'all save up for next year to go and sign up because i can say it really didn't actually discriminate on content creator there were big name ones that i didn't even know and then there was up and coming ones so that i still didn't even know so you have an opportunity the most they can say is no like i'm gonna sign up as long as everything go right for me 
I'm going to sign up and hopefully I see some, some of my locals in, in the Texas area that can go, go. So definitely sign up, check it out. And if you're a gamer, go enjoy the games. Like I really enjoyed a lot of the games and there was a lot of games that I feel, I feel like the people I know in the community would enjoy the games. So go, I'm not going to guarantee that there's like, um, partnerships or anything out of it because I can say I ain't getting no partnerships out of it but however it's a way to build up communication and if you're trying to be up and coming and you really are passionate about this going to these events getting out there some of them not so much but I can't speak on them events I can only speak on the ones I went to but I say go dream hack to get your your face out there, your brand out there. Now, if you're not going to sign up to, for the content creator part, I will say, bring, I brought business cards because one, they're convenient and easy to pack. But if you have like a cool shirt that has your ad on it, people will look at that and a cool setup. Hopefully next year, I will at least have a day with my shirt or by that time three custom shirts we'll, we'll see we'll have my name on it and everything so i can stand out i mean i'm hoping we'll see how everything goes but that's my big advice like if you want to be heard you want to speak your truth you want to you really serious about this content creating and even if not but you want to meet some of your friends if you got a local dream hat that's coming to your area pre prepare for it and go and Sometimes we got to like stop making excuses why we can't and just do it. I'm slowly working on breaking my own excuses and just doing it. Dream hack, I was like, I'm going to do it because I'm just going to see how it is. Other events I've been to, I haven't really enjoyed, but this one I really enjoyed. So definitely go if you can and make plans for it and be safe. Now, second thing I want to really talk about is... I'm an Ubisoft content creator, but I'm a content creator for Roller Champions. If you haven't played Roller Champions, I will leave the link below. It's free to play and free to download. They do work on season passes, so, you know, if you decide to buy the season pass, then go ahead. But if you happen to catch me playing Roller Champions on stream normally on Tuesdays and Thursdays, depending on how my mood is, there is a current drop enabled where you can earn free items that eventually will come to your your Pacific game. So if you happen to have a Twitch and anybody's playing Roller Champions that have drop enabled, just go check it out. But I would say just download another free game. Free game to play. It's, for me, it gives me the roller champion nostalgia like i really enjoy that like even when i lose <laughs> i really enjoy it not the best sometimes i have a couple of good games and sometimes it do get frustrating but it's not as bad as where i've come from and if a lot of people know me they know i come from the call of duty scene and i know that i was a big rager i calmed down so i'm not as bad as i was but this month is like i really enjoy it that and i and i i suck at rocket league so so I enjoyed this one for what it's worth. It has some hiccups, but it's a free to play game. So why not check it out? But I am a Ubisoft content curator for Roller Champions. So if I'm live, come peek through, come watch for a little bit and catch me roller around <laughs> and probably even play on me if you have a PlayStation. Last thing is I finally hit 300 followers on Switch. So that's good. I'm getting up there. I think the last time I checked, I was at 322. I'm slowly climbing up there. Not sure where I want to be yet as far as that, but it's like, it's a place I can stream. It is convenient. And I'm celebrating my, my small achievements. Like, I don't celebrate my achievements enough. I don't really celebrate me. So I'm, I'm doing that. So I like, I finally made 300 followers on, on Twitch. That's good. And I'm Ubisoft content creator. And I'm I'm happy for that. And it's just for Roller Champions. Not for the other stuff. Just for Roller Champions for now. So, if I'm roller around, hope y'all enjoy it. Because <laughs> it's neither here or there. And also, just a reminder. I am, have, I do have an affiliate with 
Kendra Nation hot sauce and barbecue sauce. So if you haven't tried it out, hey, you better try it out. Use my code misplaced. Yes, I will say shipping is expensive, but however, it's it's a liquid and it's a bottle and it has to be insured. So, however, that barbecue sauce, both of them, they a one, and he's always coming up with some new sauces. So if you like hot sauce, and trust me, there is a sauce that's not hot to choose from. So if you can't have nothing hot, there still is a sauce, and it's coming out with always new stuff. So definitely check it out. But for me, I, I'm like I'm like a barbecue sauce like fiend, not crazily fiend, but I'm always ordering my barbecue sauce from Kendrick Nation. So definitely check them out. And I appreciate y'all coming through and chilling with me and continue to watch my videos when I post them. I'm working on it, but me and videos is either a hit or miss. And I'm, <laughs> I'm working on it. So, catch me in the next video. And I hope y'all enjoy this. Laters.